Hey guys, it's Sam here from How To Have A Q, and today I thought I'd show you my editor, the editor I use to edit these videos. Now this is actually called Serif Movie Plus uh, X6, so it's version 6, and it basically allows a number of different features. It's basically for quick editing. Um, it doesn't have a massive amount of effects, but it's very quick to edit with. So to do general quick editing, very easy to do. So for example, I have this just file here. You can easily just click S to split the tracks and you can easily look at the audio tracks very simply by just clicking the arrow there. It writes the waveform and you can go re you can zoom in with the scroller on your mouse. It's very simple to do that. Um, another thing that I find useful is if you go to volume, show keyframes, that's also very useful. You can easily um, just use these keyframes to adjust the volume as you please. So you could choose to move it down at certain points, say it was slightly louder or you could just control the volume completely by this. And you can either control the track volume or you can control a particular um, section of video or audio. So that's a very useful feature to have. I also find being able to change the render quality very good as well because if you're running on a low power PC, which sometimes I am, you can actually um, run it much easier when you're on normal rather than best. Uh, this computer is much more powerful so that doesn't really have a problem. Also being able to do things like saving the screen frames, quick easy things to do. Um, you can easily pan and stuff. Uh, you can add effects, so for example if I want to add an effect onto this, I could add an effect and chroma key, I've got all these weird effects that I can easily apply. You can even make effect groups and apply them in bulk to something. It's very easy to do. And this isn't the best of editors, but it's very easy to use and that's what I use it most for. So I can edit stuff quickly and easily with this and the rendering time is very fast. You can also transform stuff like you would expect. So you can just move stuff around, paste stuff on top of each other. It does allow like green screen uh, capabilities. You can even move with 3D transformations. So for example, if I wanted to move that forward a bit, so I could even do some cool stuff there. And it's very, very, very uh, professional the way it's laid out, which makes makes it much, much easier to use. And I guess another thing that you've got to take into account is the fact that this editor provides you with um, so many good tools to be able to edit quickly. And that's what it benefits you mostly from because um, when you want to film something um, and you want to edit something quickly, this will allow you to do it. But you might, if you were to say edit in Final Cut Pro, you have to learn it and it's much harder to learn. This is a good starting point. I may be looking to move to another editor that's probably got a bit more power, but this at the moment is doing great. Um, obviously, it allows basic things like cropping and a load of different audio techniques you can change. Sometimes if, if you record it on a slightly bad microphone you can add a bit of bass or you can add a bit of treble, reverb, just some basic effects that you'd expect. Very nice and easy. And In terms of exporting you can export, it has YouTube and Facebook but basically you can just export to a file type you want to export to and I just normally go AVI and you can basically customize all the all the settings here as well so you can change it to PAL NTSC which is for an American version different aspect ratios you can make it higher than that um, you can you can change for different resolutions it's very very good and the thing I mainly uh, like to use this for is just like I said editing for YouTube videos it's very quick to edit and it's very efficient yeah so this is what I've been using um, I may look to upgrade in the future tell me what you think if you want a further detailed video about how to use it then be sure to put that down below in the comments. Um, but for now, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be editing this video in Movie Plus. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.